here we are day number two scooby palooza for us uh the actual ungathering hadn't started till this monday but today is now friday so some of the rigs that are still out here i mean there's more coming in all the time all the big razor roof buses this is one i like i like this crown right here this is a really cool version buses i like those crowns look more like an over the road bus than i do an old school bus but they did use them for school buses People doing stretching yoga and exercising and dogs and more people out everywhere. Generators running, power up some equipment. There's a big, huge over the road bus. And now there's the butter bus. I've heard of the butter bus. Um, just a lot of versions out here. A lot of people I see on Instagram that are out here. So I like to just go by and see what they look like in person and say hi if they're there. We're going to keep walking around. The section behind me is the family section. A lot of big buses, a lot of kids, a lot of activity there. This is broken up into different areas, but uh, there's a wellness section, which is over that way to straight ahead of us. And there's a family section here. And then just a... Uh, People scattered all around. They're actually way up on the ridge all around and more of them coming in. So it's going to be a busy day. It's going to be a busy weekend. Let's see what happens. Around here is the uh, low budget schoolie. They bring their own dog panels, which is a good idea because that the dogs give a little bit of free space to run around without being leashed up and wandering everywhere. There's an ambulance over there. There's another, I like this cool little fire rescue truck there. That's interesting. And more buses. Uh, tents with minivans. Back over there's another crown. That's still yellow, but it's nice looking. And a lot of RVs this way. So I'm not for sure this, what camp area this area, but there's, just people fill in and camp. Weather is a little, little cloudier today. It's supposed to be cloudy all weekend. A chance of rain on the Monday. Uh, but right now it's a little windy and doing good. And as we walk around, here's a I got too many things in my hand here. I walk around, there's American Nomad Photography, and there's that yellow crown on the other side. And just RVs. Back people working on the roofs. Working on solar, collecting some solar while the sun's out before the clouds come in. And over this way, run into a couple, looks like an old Mercedes vans. Those are camper vans. I'm not sure what those are. Let's go find out. Uh, I'm sure they're imported. Uh, and probably not used a lot in the U.S., but we'll want a smaller version and one's a little bit longer wheelbase. So, kind of interesting looking vehicles. And more dogs. Everyone that has, it seems like almost everybody out here has a dog. Lots of dogs. A lot of good family dogs. A lot of barking dogs. That's ATVs, motorcycles. So the events have picking up. I think the number one vehicle out here is white Sprinter vans and ProMasters. They're just everywhere. In that group in there is a schoolie teacher. Got to meet her for a second, say hi. Say hi to Hondo. And just white vans everywhere. Buses. So there's a one of each. There's a ProMaster, and there's a looks like a transit van, and then there is a Sprinter van. And they're all white. That's the they're pretty common color.
and we were back at Schoolie Palooza, sitting behind our bus in the shade. A little chilly in the shade, but the dog down here likes the shade, so he's he's resting. We had him out for a couple of hours this morning. He's pretty tired. But out here in Schoolie Palooza in the desert of Arizona, of course you can park wherever you want in the BLM land, and you can park away from everybody out by yourselves. There's some campers way over there. They may not be part of Scooter Palooza. They may just be part of the BLM camping. But the Scooter Palooza groups are out here. And you can be out as far away as you want from everyone. Or as you get closer toward the main camp. It gets a little more crowded. As you can see behind me here, more vehicles are popping in. This is just a few of them on my area. I'm on the very tip of a knoll, I guess a tip of a ridge. And there's probably about eight vehicles at this end. It's away from the music. It's nice and quiet at night and dark. About half moon, so you get a lot of moonlight coming out. There's a giant ravine back behind us that goes down. And it's got cactus in it and the Palo Verde trees different things there's a barrel with a little cactus right there some sort of maybe saguaro is starting up or some kind of barrel cactus starting but uh in the ravine behind so you got separation from different people and that's just uh my view of the schoolie from this point where i'm sitting behind my bus and another Nice sunset in the desert of Arizona facing California on our second full day of Scootie Palooza. It's just starting to go down behind the mountain. Should be pretty here in a minute whenever it gets reflected back up into the clouds. Bird gliders at Scootie Palooza. sunset time. And I think he's coming in for landing somewhere over there. There he goes. Oh, now he's just doing a flyby. One round for another round. Paraglider is back. Right now he is off power, just gliding. There he goes, he's starting back up again. As he buzzes over the camp area. A nice bus just pulled in a while ago. There it goes back to the other side. Oh, it's coming back down.
As we come to the beginning of day number four, for us at Schooly Palooza, it is Sunday, at the end of the gathering and the beginning of the ungathering. See our neighbors are starting to move out. This one is leaving now. This one will be leaving. White one will be leaving today. And there's still two more weeks of Schooly Palooza. So um, we'll be here for another day and we'll see what happens. And there go the neighbors, packed up, got the car on, heading towards Phoenix. So they're heading out. Those people left there, people there left, people there left, the people in the green bus get ready to leave. Our end of our area is getting a little quiet. That's okay, we got one more day and then we're Doing the same, heading back to our campsite in port site. Hi neighbors, see you down the road. We are on our way out of Scooby Palooza. This is Monday. Been here about five days, so we're gonna head back to our campsite. Give you some views along the way of some of the vehicles that are still left here, a lot of them have gone, but a lot more have come in. Don't know how many vehicles are actually here, but I say still around 800 or more. So, as we drive out, we'll be able to see, you'll be able to see more buses and things along the way. As you look around on the way out, more vehicles over here. A lot more buses on this side. So there's still a lot of people out here. More rigs over there. More rigs off in the distance. So there's still more fun to have for the rest of the week. I think it goes through Sunday. As we take our time driving out, dirt road is rough, we'll say. In the no man's world, you don't say goodbye, you say, see you down the road.